Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we are going to compare fractions, try to find out which fraction is greater. But first, before we get into comparing, we're going to just review something important, which is, here I have one whole circle, but I divide it into two parts, and both parts are colored. What fraction is it there for? I wrote here one because it's one whole, but we can also write it as a fraction. And since there are two parts, then it is two there, and since two are colored, two here too. And we read it as two halves. How about here? There's one whole rectangle, and how do we write it as a fraction? As you can see, three parts in total, three are colored, and we read it as three-thirds. And over here, we get to comparing fractions, which is kind of fun because you get to color. OK, what fraction is this? Two-thirds. And that means I would color two of these parts here. And over here, we have one-half, so I color one part. And now we compare which is greater which is more pie to eat, so to speak. You can think of it as a pie, you know? And so you see, oh, this is more, right? So the alligator mouth goes that way. Over here, two thirds, and what fraction is this? Three fourths. So I need to color again, two thirds and three fourths. And which one is more? chocolate bar to eat. You can see over here, this one is a little higher, so that's the greater fraction. Over here we compare one-third, one-half. You want to guess which one will be the greater fraction? And once you have your guess, now I'm going to have to divide this here into three parts and this here into two parts. Like that. And then this one I could divide it this way or this way. But can you see which one will be easier way so we can compare? If I divide it this way, it might not be as easy. So I'll divide it kind of the same way with vertical lines. Now it's time to color. OK, Matthew. OK, I'll let you color. He's anxious to color too. Sure enough. One third, yeah. And then over here, one half. Color one half, Matthew. Good job. Now, which one is more? This one, of course, so one half is the greater fraction. Notice, though, that this number two is actually the smaller number than the number three. But it actually tells us into how many parts we are dividing our shape. And so this one half is still, it's more to eat than this. Two fourths and two halves. Look at this. Have we seen something like this in this lesson already? Over here, two halves is the same as the whole pie, isn't it? So I would color the whole pie. Here, I won't color the whole pie. So I can save some time and just tell that this is the greater fraction, right? That's the whole pie. This would be, you know, if I divide it into fourths and then color two. Let's go on. Over here, well, Matty, go back. How many parts is this pie divided into? six parts. So each part is a sixth, one sixth. And let's say that I color a few. Oh, Matthew wants to color again? Well, soon Matthew, soon Matthew. I'll, I'll color this time. I colored three of those sixths. So I write a fraction, three sixths. And then over here, it's divided into five parts. So each part is a fifth. And Matthew, yeah, I'll let you color this time, OK. OK. So what fraction is colored by Matthew? Two parts are colored, five in total, two fifths. Oh, here's some more coloring to do, Matthew. Can come down again. Color this one, three fifths. Fractions are so much fun because you get to color so much. Now it's my turn. What fraction is this? 
one sixth. So I need to first divide this thing into six parts, which let's say I first divide it into two parts, like that. And then I go this way, two lines, like that. And then color one. Over here, five fifths. Actually, that's going to be the whole rectangle, one whole. But I need to still divide it into five parts and color five. So let's try. Oops, those didn't end up being equal parts. OK, they should have been. So I didn't do a perfect job of di dividing it, but I'll color the whole thing anyway. Lastly, we get to compare again which fraction is greater. Want to guess? Three sixths and one half. OK, the one half is already there. Just color it in. And now three sixths. First of all, I will divide this in half and then with two lines like that. Now I will color three sixths. I'll color these three. Of course, you can color any three pieces, but for comparing, this makes it easier. Can you see which one is more? You know, this time they are equal. Right? It's the same amount of chocolate bar to eat this way or that way. Lastly, again, make a guess. Which fraction is greater? Which part is more to eat? OK, I'll let you color one more time. Three fifths. That much. And three fourths. That much. You can see easily which one is more. It is the three fourths. OK. Was it a surprise? Anyway, we're all done with this lesson now.